Harleys in the Holy Land. A group of visiting American bikers took to the highways this week to show their support for Israel. Flaunting their leather and chrome, most of these Harley Davidson diehards are U.S. Army veterans and pastors. They came on the Solidarity Tour as members of a Christian evangelical ministry called Mission M25. And we're here because we honor uh, the soldiers back home, we honor the uh, PA, uh, POWs and the MIAs, and so uh, we brought that concept to Israel to honor the IDF and the armed forces here. The Texas-based evangelical group is known for organizing Harley rides to honor fallen U.S. soldiers at home and abroad. It's fitting, they say, to also honor Israeli soldiers who died on the battlefield. For me, it's, it's all about the veterans and the people who have lost their lives for freedom anywhere in the world. And this country has set the standards for it. virtually every country that's ever had true freedom for their people. Um, and to come over and honor these guys that have lost their lives, oh, I couldn't miss that. I, I have to do that. After nearly a week on the road, today the tour will reach its climax when the bikers ride into Jerusalem for a ceremony at the ancient Wailing Wall. The destination was marked in a special leather jacket patch made for the group that read, Run for the Wall. At a stop along the way at Israel's tank museum in Latrun, the Americans mingled with Israeli soldiers and showed off their souped-up Harleys. Some dazzled in bold colors, others stood out for their very personal touches. Almost all the bikes had paired the U.S. and Israeli flags. This Harley-Davidson tour started in the north in the Golan Heights. The riders drove along the coast visiting Christian holy sites and military bases. But on top of showing their support for Israeli soldiers, these riders will deliver $500,000 in medical supplies to Israel's poor and Holocaust survivors. The bikers gave Israeli soldiers bandanas with Psalm 91, the guardian of Israel, printed in both English and Hebrew. We want to show our deep appreciation for the fact that we, we can come to Israel and we can walk where Jesus walked and we can uh, experience this beautiful land and we just appreciate them fighting and, and keeping it free to where we can do that. Israel's tourism ministry helped organize the Mission M25 ride, and over 70 Harley-Davidson bikers joined the fun. Uh, it's very uh, positive uh, uh, movement uh, by uh, coming to Israel and to, um, to show their support uh, for everything we pass here, you know, uh, all the troubles and everything, and they just uh, encourage us. We jumped on the back of a bike to be part of the ride over the hills to Jerusalem. The swanky bikes, nearly a hundred of them, drew attention as they passed through the city streets and quiet neighborhoods. As they approached the old city walls, the contrast between the very modern and the very ancient came into relief. At the Jaffa Gate, pedestrians waved as the bikes roared through. The narrow alleyways of the old city, reserved for the pious of all faiths, suddenly looked and sounded like a racetrack. And soon the stunning view of Dome of the Rock appeared, hovering over Judaism's holiest site, the Wailing Wall. The bikers parked their Harleys, which soon became the object of fascination, and entered the Wailing Wall Plaza to finally see the ancient stones where Jews and non-Jews have been praying for centuries. The historic site reminded some of why they'd come. Israel is the United States' first defense. And without Israel, we're not protected either. And, and I hope that we'll do the same for y'all. And I hope because of this, maybe some of our eyes will open and they'll say, yes, we need to back Israel. The pastors held a religious ceremony. <laughs> Reciting the Hebrew blessings over wine and bread, faith in the second coming of Christ was preached. And bless us, O oh God, as we continue to pray for peace in Israel. And then a final cheer. And those that are on the fields today, a big hoorah. Hoorah! One more time. Hoorah! 
Jordana Miller, JN1, Jerusalem.